Welcome everyone to another CTC Software webinar. My name is Sean Zervis, the Director of BIM Development here at CTC Software. And today I'm kind of breaking tradition a little bit. Usually I talk about a specific tool. Today we're going to be reviewing your survey feedback from recent surveys we sent out. Uh, and we'll talk about why we're doing that. Hopefully this is something that you find interesting uh, from us. As always, of course, we encourage you to uh, ask questions live in this webinar. That's one of the best parts about participating with us live is you get to ask questions. And of course, I have a huge QA session for the end in case your questions aren't able to be answered in line. And also, as always, these webinars are recorded. So if you wanna come back to this or share this with other team members in the future, this will be going up to our YouTube channel shortly after this webinar is complete. So we hope you uh, take a minute and view it up there as well, especially for something you want to go back to and re-reference. Uh, there'll be some things in here that hopefully you will want to go back to and re-reference. So without further ado, let's jump in and talk about today's topic. I mean, at CTC here, your feedback has always been and will continue to be the driving force behind everything that we do. That's, that's always been the case. Uh, we're always looking for your information, your feedback, new streamlined workflows. We find that interesting. We hope that we can take that feedback and build it into tools uh, and further our existing tools so that it's meaningful for you. Now, you may have noticed that we've been actually spending a lot of time lately building in a lot of our existing wish list items. But we wanted to go a step further and make it very, very public for you. We've started to throw public surveys out there. We hope you've seen those. We hope you've participated in those. Um, those surveys are out there. They span the entire community because we wanna make sure we're capturing a huge spectrum of perspectives here. We wanna make sure everybody has a chance to get their voice in. And today I'm gonna to actually share those with you again so you can continue to give us some feedback on this. But as we get the results from this, one bit of feedback we've gotten in the past is you've told us that, hey, sometimes I tell you something and it feels like it goes into a black hole and you don't necessarily know if we've done anything with it. And so I want to live review with you and record the feedback that we're getting so that you know what we're doing with your feedback and how we're gonna be using that in the future. And that's gonna help us drive future surveys and directly drive changes to the tools themselves that you'll see in subsequent releases coming down the road. So your participation really is encouraged and cherished. It's very much coveted because I wanna make sure we're spending our efforts developing things that you want. So we're gonna go over a couple of things here today. I'm gonna to review some of the recent survey questions, talk a little bit about why I'm using those, the intent from my side, so you know exactly where I'm coming from and why I'm gonna be asking other you know, questions in the future. We're gonna show you what the current answers are right now today, November 29th in 2023, and then uh, in the future, we'll come back and review more of this. Uh, and then we're gonna outline some next steps, some things that I'm going to ask of you if you haven't already taken some actions, uh, and then what we can kind of expect for the future as well. So let's take a look at some of the recent survey questions that just went out. In case you haven't clicked the links and you haven't actually gone through the survey, I wanna review this with you so you know what to expect. It's really simple. We try to keep this incredibly straightforward. I sent out three individual surveys. I'm talking today specifically about the BIM suites, the building information modeling suites. We sent out surveys for the SIM suites as well. That's a different session. I'll talk about those in a couple of weeks here, but the three individual surveys here were one per suite. Um, the questions that were in those surveys, it was very simple. Two questions. One, what are your top X number of favorite tools? Depending on how big the suite is, I gave you a different number of maximum choices. The BIM project and manager suite both had five favorite tools and the batch suite had, I think it was two favorite tools. And then within those suites after that first one, because I want to know what it is you like that you use all the time and that, that's your favorites in there. I also asked, which of the tools do you think needs the most attention? How many, whatever the tools are. And you got five choices there or two choices as well, depending on which suite it was. And the goal here was for us to understand what, are, what do you like? Because I wanna definitely do additional development there and continue to make it even better for you. And then also there's tools that are in our suites that maybe you want to use, but maybe they're not a part of your favorites. Maybe they are a part of your favorites. I don't know. Uh, we'll find out today a little bit about that. But within there, 
if there's tools that you want to be able to use that maybe you just aren't because they need some, some work on our side, I want to know about that because I want to focus on those as well. The last thing I want to do is kind of work with survivor bias and just work on the tools that you like uh, and not work on the tools that you'd love to like, but you just can't. So I'll be uh, sharing with you guys uh, again in just a moment here some of those survey links in case maybe you haven't seen those surveys and you want to participate. I want you to be able to. So that'll be coming here in just a moment. Get your phones ready because there's going to be some QR codes I'll pop up on screen for you. <clears throat> So what is the intent of this? Honestly, y'all, I have over 300 wishes in various stages of scoping in my backup right now. I track everything that you've sent over, it's in my list, and I wanna work my way through that list. But 300 is a lot, right? If we're talking specifically about the BIM suites, about 100 of those are directly related to the three major BIM suites, BIM project suite, manager suite, batch suite. That's a lot of wishes. And I really want to get through every single one of them, but I can't do them all at once. So why I'm starting these surveys here is because I want to focus on those that are the most important, the favorite tools and the ones that you want to use that need the most work. So I'm going to be going through and focusing on those. And in my next round of surveys, I'm going to be taking the top five favorite tools and the top five tools that need work that from what your feedback is, and I'm going to be putting questions together specifically about wishes we already have in that queue related to those tools and have you tell me which ones, which ones specifically are the ones you want me to get out in next releases coming up real soon here. So we're going to be focusing on this very specifically. So yeah, most popular tools in both categories. So with that, <clears throat> what I want to do is I want to go through the current answers that I have so far. So you can see what's already in there. Now, these are just from a couple of weeks of the surveys being out there. I know a lot of you saw these and you started to answer. Some of you maybe didn't see the email come through because, I mean, we all get tons of emails, right? So again, in this webinar, I'm going to give you access to those surveys as well. Uh, and since this is recorded, feel free to pass them on to all of your team members if you want them to answer as well. I encourage that because the more answers I get, the better my full data set is. So we're going to go through the current answers today and take a look at what we have. And the way that I like to run through this is Microsoft Power BI. It's going to give me the best ability to kind of demonstrate to you what I think is the most important stuff. Now, before I go through the suite feedback, let's just talk about how the community uses our tools in the first place. So I'm going to start here in the BIM project suite. And this data here, by the way, is from the last 90 days from my cloud licensing side. So for those of you who have converted to cloud licensing, this uh, is data that, that you can access for yourself. I have sort of a scrubbed version of this data that just tells me tool usage overall. And so for the BIM project suite, I have this currently set up ranked by uh, how much, what is this here, how much app uses there are. And you can see Schedule Excel by far is the most used app by number of runs, number of clicks, where they open the tool and they do something with it, or in the case of Schedule Excel specifically, a number of you have this set with links that exist in your model, and every time that model opens, Schedule Excel runs and does a thing to refresh those links in your project. So that's a tool that is automatically being used, and you can see just 83,000 uses in the past 90 days. Now, as far as time goes, because most of the time this isn't doing a whole lot, it's about 1,500 hours of total time in the tool from all of my customers in the last 90 days, because most of the time Schedule Excel opens, refresh, closes, and it takes less than a second. So it's really fast. But yeah, 83,000 uh, uses there. The next most popular tool that gets a lot of manual use, this isn't an automatic running tool, is Spreadsheet Link. And this doesn't surprise me. This is my Swiss Army Knife tool. So almost 10,000 uses in the past 90 days and a total of about 1,200 hours of time spent in those tools. Revision Manager, this one surprised me, I, guys, I'm serious. I, I was surprised by this. Revision Manager gets a lot of uses, uh, almost 5,000 in the last 90 days. Renumbering gets a ton of use. View Creator gets a lot of use, and that doesn't really surprise me. Um, I kind of was hoping it was me more, honestly, but that's great. A lot of uses there. So there's a lot of these tools that I can see from actual use is really popular and they have a lot of time spent in them doing work. Some of these are free tools, some of these are paid tools. I was just curious, you know, I wanted to get this kind of a baseline. What does the industry use as a whole? And now let's take a look at the, and, and, and by the way, let's take a look at Manager Suite real quick too. 
Manager Suite, kind of the same thing here, right? Most popular tool family processor, not at all a surprise. Project Cleaner, Type Swapper, Shared Parameter Manager, Import Link Manager, that's not a surprise at all. Those are the tools I expected to really be the most used tools, and then the rest of them kind of fall in below that. On Batch Suite, there's only five tools in Batch Suite, and Plotter and Exporter, yeah, I totally expected that to be the most popular tool. And there's a few others in there as well that are pretty popular and have a bunch of time spent in them. And some of these I expect a lot of time spent in tools like Projects and Families Upgrader because it does a lot of this stuff behind the scenes and processes things, say, overnight for you. Uh, so yeah, a lot of time, even though there's not quite as many uses, there's a lot of time involved in the processing of thousands upon thousands of families. So yeah, found that interesting. <clears throat> Now let's take a look at the feedback that you've actually given us specifically. So we have a series of responses here over the past uh, maybe two to three weeks maybe. So 31 responses here for the BIM project suite. There's what, 27 for manager suite and six responses so far for batch suite. And that doesn't surprise me, just the number of uses and users of these tools and kind of who's gonna be giving us feedback. I figured that would sort of be the general balance, but I want more, this isn't enough. I need more feedback from you guys. So I'm gonna be showing you again in a minute here what the, uh, uh, the QR codes are for these, these surveys. So let's start with the project suite. Um, by far, the most favorite tool in project suite is spreadsheet link. Not at all a surprise. I figured that would be the case. I know schedule Excel gets more use, so to speak, because it's running in the background, but it's not a lot of visual use. Spreadsheet link is an active tool. View Creator is actually another one of your favorite tools, and I figured that was gonna be the case as well. I'm kind of happy about that. Sheet Assistant is a popular tool. You love it, that's great, or you like it a lot. Uh, Schedule Excel, of course, and then down from there, the next favorite tool, which surprised me a bit, is Parameter Jammer. Um, that's cool, that, that's, that's interesting. And then some of these other tools, they kind of fall off uh, after that. Now, the tools that need improvement, um, this is, again, I'm very interested in this, and I've noticed that Schedule Excel, you know, you guys want certain features here. That's great. I'm going to be sending a specific survey about that, um, talking about some of the features and some of what we have on our wish list and get you to rank those in one of the next rounds. View Creator, <clears throat> you're wanting some, some, some love and some fixes in View Creator, uh, and we're going to get you some feedback from that as well. Sheet Assistant, I didn't, I didn't uh, have any surprises on this one. I kind of figured you were gonna be asking about some Sheet Assistant improvement. And then there's a three-way tie for the next level down here, which is Spreadsheet Link, uh, Parameter Jammer, and Invisibility Advisor. And this one surprised me, but that's cool. I, that's, that's what I love about getting your feedback is it helps me understand more about where I need to be focusing my efforts. <clears throat> Even though this isn't listed as one of your top most favorite tools, it does need some love and I get it and I wanna work on it. So that's why we're asking these questions. In the BIM manager suite here, this one uh, kind of surprised me. Project Cleaner was the most favorited tool inside of here, despite family processor being the most used, this is the favorite tool. That's cool. That was from the, the previous tab that we looked at. Uh, family processor is the next most favorite tool. Doesn't surprise me at all. Type swapper, that's a really powerful tool, love it. And then shared parameter manager and import link manager. Those are all really great, powerful tools. Love that, glad to see that kind of feedback on it. <clears throat> now, tools needing improvement. Project Cleaner, well actually the first, the most one was the Import and Link Manager, and uh, totally understood. I wanna hear more about what it is you want from those particular tools. Uh, Project Cleaner needs some love, got it. Family Checker and uh, uh, Shared Parameter Manager kind of tied there at the second tier. And then way down here, the, the fifth most one that needs improvement was Family Processor, and that surprised me. I expected that one to be higher on the list, but that's okay, your, your thoughts and opinions are where they are and I'm gonna devote my efforts accordingly. So that's fantastic. And then in Batch Suite, there are only four or five tools and the top favorites here is uh, Family Exporter, Family Loader, uh, Plotter Exporter. I mean, they're all kind of pretty much equal. I didn't get a lot of responses here, so this data set isn't great, but the one that needs the most improvement and this does not surprise me one bit is Plotter and Exporter. And then, it's Project and Family Upgrader and Project Processor. This tool actually has a whole bunch of stuff coming for it in the near future here from our current wish list. But these three right here, yeah, I kind of figured those were gonna be the ones that you were gonna be asking a lot about. So I do wanna get more feedback in this area though. <clears throat> so I will be uh, sharing this with you. And just so you know, the survey itself, it, this is the average time to complete these from people actually going through about just under a minute. So 0.9 minutes. 
Uh, oh, wrong tab here. Let's go to the manager suite, just about under two minutes. You're thinking about five different tools and the project suite, just under two minutes as well. So yeah, minute and a half, just under two minutes. These are really quick surveys and I wanna keep it that way. I wanna keep this quick so you guys can get in, do the survey and get out so that we can get your feedback and it's not a big encumbrance on you. I don't want it to take you a lot of time, but I do wanna capture your feedback and know where you want me to focus what I'm doing. So this is kind of our current round. There's not a lot here yet. I want more. I have a part two coming to this pretty soon, and I'd love to recap some of this with you all. But uh, let's first here talk about next steps, because some of you I know didn't actually get those surveys, or you didn't realize you got those surveys. And I want you to have an opportunity to go through and actually answer some of these questions. So get your phones ready, because I'm going to be popping some QR codes up here. So next steps here in the BIM suite specifically um, is, the surveys here are still open. I haven't officially closed the surveys yet. I will eventually, and I'm gonna move on to other surveys, but these are currently still open and I'd love for you all to get more uh, feedback to us. So I do continue to continue to participate here and uh, I I'm gonna encourage you to pass these around to your friends and your frenemies and whomever you want. Like get them all to answer it because uh, the more I get, the better off, uh, the better off our results are gonna be here. So first off, BIM Project Suite. If you wanted to participate in the BIM Project Suite survey, there's the QR code for that. That'll take you direct to the survey. You can complete it really quickly on your phone. It's got a nice form factor for use on a phone or a tablet or whatever. Uh, you can also, of course, use this on your computer if you really want to, but I don't have the web link here, so you're gonna have to just use your phone devices. If you want the specific links directly, because you're like, hey, Sean, I'm not gonna use QR codes, totally understood reach out to us separately outside of this webinar and we'll get a link uh, to each of these sent over to you directly if you want them. Uh, you can get access to us via the uh, info at ctcsoftware.com. Here's the BIM Manager Suite survey. So if you wanted to give your feedback specifically to that suite, there's the, the QR code for it. And then finally here, the BIM Batch Suite survey. You can go ahead and answer uh, the, the questions about the five tools in that particular suite. So this again is being recorded, so you can always come back to this later if you're like, I was not prepared for this and I'm watching it on my phone. I get it, you can come back to this a little later if you want to. Now, I didn't change the header on this. It's not just the BIM suites here that we're having surveys about. If you are also a customer working with Civil 3D, we have some really powerful SIM suites, Civil Information Modeling suites. And we have a survey about the tools in there on the SIM project suite. We have surveys for the SIM manager suite as well out there. Uh, my next webinar is actually gonna focus mostly on those. Now, for those of you who did already go through and answer these surveys and you saw them coming through, that's fantastic. I have not yet sent this one out, but I'm gonna give you all on this webinar today early access to this. Our Hive product has a survey out there as well. This is asking about the major functions of just the Hive product. Uh, Hive is more than a CMS. We'll be having CMS specific surveys going out for those of you who use that, uh, as well as the uh, other tools that are a part of Hive, depending on what it is you answer in this survey. So you can QR code scan this guy if you want to and answer its uh, uh, questions about what tools inside of Hive you like to use. So, Today's webinar is kind of short and sweet. Now I'm gonna say thank you to all of you who aren't gonna hang out for the QA session. I do encourage you to hang out for the QA session, but I do thank you. Uh, I do encourage you to participate in those surveys uh, and uh, certainly stay tuned for our future events because we're gonna be going over some very specific tool by tool questions in the not too distant future. Again, I wanna keep all of this very public for you so you know exactly what it is we're seeing from your wishes um, and encouraging you to continue to participate with us. 